Hey folks, activity six will be my last video, and that is because activity seven is quite easy. Right? Activity seven is simply uh, using the candle flame to um, ignite some of the steel wool. Uh, so um, the, the critical part of activity seven is you got to use just a little bit, just just like this much, even less than this. You know, you just have to get a little bit. It's not going to the, the fire. It's not going to go on fire. It's not going to be a flame. You're just going to, you're just going to get some glowiness and you're going to have to be pretty fast with your photo. While this is glowing, I need the photo. If you send me a photo where the steel wool is not glowing, I'm going to ask you to do it again. Okay. So that's the only thing with activity seven, but, uh, activity six is quite complicated. Uh, so, um, Let's uh, let's do activity six. Okay, I'm gonna actually do this one for reals. So um, why? Because it's uh, it's uh, it's a bit unusual. Okay, so this is a plastic test tube, right? This is a gas collection stopper. Uh oh. I'm sorry, there's some preparation steps that I haven't done yet. Uh, figure number three. Figure number three. Figure number three. Figure number three. Yeah, right there, right there. Okay. So I didn't I haven't done that yet, so let me show you how to do that. Okay. Scissors. Mm. My pipette. Where's my pipette? Here it is. Pipette. Hmm. I'm gonna take this right there, right there, right there at the base, right, right there. Bam! Right there. There you go. There you go. Hmm. I'm gonna take off, take off this narrow tip and take it off. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Bam! Okay, good. And then I'm gonna stick this into my stopper. Is this it? No. Where's the stopper? Is this? This is this is it. This is a stopper. The big stopper, okay? Like that, okay? This is a number four stopper, see? Number four, stick that in there. It says use forceps, but uh, <laughs> you don't need no stinking forceps. You could use forceps if you want, okay? Now, this is not perfect. Um, it's, it's a little bit too easy. That means uh, some gas, some carbon dioxide gas might leak through the uh, through the contact between the plastic and the rubber, but that's okay. I hope we'll get enough gas for the experiment. I'm actually going to do the experiment, so we'll see. Okay. Now I have the narrow side in. I have the fatter side out. You see that? Uh, th th this um, pipette has a narrow side in uh, going in the same direction as a narrow side of the stopper. The fatter side, same direction as the fatter side of the stopper. On the fatter side of the stopper, on the fatter side, I'm going to put the tube. Put this tube on here. Ah, uh, that's pretty tricky. Ah, uh, that's hard. Ah, uh, that's very difficult. Mm. Yeah, it's very difficult. Mm. I don't know. This is okay. It, it worked. Okay, so I had to, I had to uh, squeeze the pipette. So do not squeeze the tube. Squeeze the pipette. This plastic is thinner than the tube. So you got to squeeze this. Squeeze on that. You can wrinkle it. You can damage it, just to force the tube on. Now you got to force the tube on some distance because uh, there has to be no. Uh, no um, place for air to get out between the pipette and the tube, okay? So the, the squeezed part of my pipette is inside here. It is not at the, at the joint of the tube and the pipette, okay? So I don't want any air coming out, okay? This is my gas collection device, right? Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Activity six. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, activity six, okay. All right. 
26. Okay, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Large test tube. Okay. The large test tube is the same one where uh, you you used um, in the... Um, there was, there was an activity here about, um, it was about ye uh, hydrogen peroxide and yeast. It's, it's, it's that. It's the large glass test tube. Same one. Let me clean it out with some water. Okay, clean it out like this. Okay. Now, this does not have to be dry. You do not need to dry. It just has to be clean, not dry. Okay. That's pretty clean. Okay, now um, I'm put the gas. So the gas collection stopper, it goes on here, right? But we're going to make some gas in here. We're going to make carbon dioxide gas. I believe we're going to use baking soda and, and um, vinegar again uh, to make this carbon dioxide gas. Okay. Yes, we're going to put 10 milliliters of vinegar and 5, mil five grams of, of baking soda. Okay. Here I have 13 grams of baking soda, so let me get rid of some. Oh, there's my doggy. Uh, sorry, baby. It's about five. It's about five grams. Okay. You could weigh your five grams if you want, but it's not quantitative, it's qualitative, so you don't have to wait if you don't want to. I'm going to squeeze this so I can pour the baking soda down in here. Tap, 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 tap. Got the baking soda. That's about five grams. It's not exactly. Okay. Now I'm going to put this in my beaker just to hold it. I love that beaker for holding stuff. Okay, we don't need this candle here. Okay. Now I'm going to add uh, 10 milliliters of um, the vinegar All right so uh 10 milliliters it doesn't have to be exactly 10 milliliters but uh about 10 milliliters right you see i have a little bit more than 10 milliliters i'm not concerned because this is qualitative not quantitative okay now before i do this before I add the vinegar to the baking soda, I'm gonna um, I'm gonna get this ready so I can put this on as soon as uh, uh, I add the vinegar to the baking soda. However, I'm also gonna get the other part ready because um, I'm doing this. I'm mixing vinegar and baking soda here just to produce carbon dioxide gas. The carbon dioxide gas is gonna come up here and go out here, and I'm gonna bubble it into some lime water. I'm going to bubble the carbon dioxide gas into lime water, All right? Put this aside. Oh, hang on. Uh, polystyrene tube. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I skipped a step. So um, they want me to use a plastic test tube test tube they want me to put the um vinegar not not in here they do not want the vinegar to be in here directly no they want the vinegar to be in here first plastic test tube polystyrene test tube means plastic test tube one in here and then they want this in here There it is. Polystyrene test tube is in there with the with the baking soda. No chemical reaction is happening yet. Put that aside for a moment. And get and get everything ready. Uh, okay, actually, where's my stopper? Here it is. Okay, so now I can put this on. Since I have a plastic test tube in there, I'm not. I don't have to have everything ready, and I don't have to act quickly because no chemical reaction is happening. That's good. So. I'm going to put this in here. When I'm ready to do the chemical reaction, I can cause the vinegar to spill out. Okay. okay so I'm not ready yet. So I'm going to just leave this over here like that. Now, you got to put this on quite tightly. It's not just put it on. You got to jam it on there. So no carbon dioxide gas escapes through here. It has to only escape through the tube. Okay. Right, there it 
is. Okay, here we go. Activity number six. Yes, here we are, here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Uh, here we are. Okay. So uh, we haven't started the, the reaction yet. Okay. I haven't ha uh, okay, so we're going to start the reaction in a moment, but we haven't started yet. All right, so I'm going to get a small test tube and put the lime water in it, all right? Oh, apparently, um, <clears throat> apparently there is a cardboard test tube rack. Now, I, I didn't notice a cardboard test tube rack, so I, I prefer to just use cups, all right? But if you, if you find the cardboard test tube rack, that's great. <clears throat> For myself, I'm just going to use cups, okay? So, now, the small glass test tube, uh, I'm going to use that again. Now, the small glass test tube is from the previous experiment, the one with the candle, right? But I got to, um, I got to clean this. Uh, it doesn't have to be dry. It just has to be clean, okay? So, uh, it's best if you use purified water to clean it. Okay, so, that one, that test tube, the large one, you do not need to use purified water to clean it. But this one, it's best to use purified water to clean it. Why? Because in, in this test tube, we're mixing baking soda and vinegar, and those don't care if the water is pure or not. But in this one, we're mixing, we're going to put lime water in here, and that might care, okay? So uh, let me use this cup to rinse this. Okay, rinse that. Kind of dangerous. I'm doing this on my computer. I might spill and break the computer. <clears throat> I'll just be really careful. I'll just be careful. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, I'll just be careful. Okay. I have my clean glass. Okay, this is the glass one. It's blue label, right? This is the glass test tube, small glass test tube. Okay. Uh, there is a bottle of lime water here. Let me find it for you. Is this it? I know that this is not it. This is phenolphthalein. Okay, it's not. Oh, wow, I found my bag of chemistry chemical set two. But uh, the lime water, I don't see it there. Is this it? Yes, this is it. I think this was in the bag that was called chemistry chemical set two. Okay, but this is the lime water. See, it says lime water. Lime water is a uh, calcium hydroxide dissolved in water. Now, the reason why I'm doing this experiment, and I didn't do the other experiments, is because uh, lime water is, is perfectly safe, but uh, it is um, a saturated solution of calcium hydroxide, meaning uh, you cannot dissolve any more calcium hydroxide in this water. That's why this, is that's why this water is special. It's lime water. And um, the, 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 the chemical reaction that I want you to observe here is the formation of calcium chloride. Calcium chloride is just chalk, but when it forms in water, it looks like uh, cloudiness. So I want you to see cloudiness forming in the lime water. It's very hard to see. Uh, I've tried this before for other classes, and uh, it didn't work. So that's why I'm doing this. I want this to work. So I'm going to fill this test tube with the lime water as directed in... Um, Step seven, I'm going to make it half full. The fact that I have drops of water in here is not good. It's better if this test tube were dry, but it's not critical. You know, it's not critical. It's best if it's dry, but it's not critical. It's, it, it, if this is going to work, it should still work, even though I had drops of water in here. Having drops of water in there dilutes the calcium hydroxide, so it's not l exactly lime water anymore. It's not saturated, but it's okay. I hope it's going to be okay. So let's see. Let's do this. So... This is what you do. You tilt this so that the vinegar spills. You see that? Carbon dioxide is forming. What does that mean? That means carbon dioxide is coming out of this tube. What does that mean? That means I can bubble pure carbon dioxide into this lime water. I'm going to hold that up so we can see that lime water. We're look, we, we, I want the lime water to get cloudy. If this works, 
then calcium carbonate will form in here. Carbon dioxide plus calcium hydroxide makes calcium carbonate. So if this works, calcium carbonate will form. Let me get a background so we could see any cloudiness, if we're going to get cloudiness. I'm not at all sure that we will get cloudiness. Okay. Uh, let's see. Um, I want to paint this black. Okay, good. Here we are. Okay. Now I'm going to get some more vinegar here. Okay, there it is. <gasps> it works. It works. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at that cloudiness. Look, inside the tube, there's nothing. But the water is becoming cloudy. You cannot say that the white stuff in here is getting in that test tube. Because look, the tube is perfectly clean. It's not wet. It has no white stuff. It was carbon dioxide gas that caused that cloudiness. I want you to do that, okay? I want you to do that and take a photo of this. Take a photo of this. This, 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 and the cloudiness. This apparatus. I need this photo. Okay? Thanks. All right, let me, um, let me make sure. I'm, I'm really glad that this is going to work for you guys. This kit is very good. <laughs> very, very good kit. Okay. I need the photo to be photo of large test tube bubbling inside plus clear tube going to small test tube cloudy inside small test tube i need that photo okay that's the one that i need thank you